The key to success in today's digital environment is managing the full API lifecycle from design to testing, maintenance and versioning, all the way through to retirement. The full API management lifecycle is a symbiotic relationship between the API provider and the API consumer, with many touch points along the way. In this video, we're going to demonstrate to you that with TIBCO Cloud API Management, how you can mark your APIs, manage their use and runtime, and analyze them to measure their business value, all in one single integrated platform. Welcome to the TIBCO Cloud, your portal to all of TIBCO Cloud services responsive integration, real-time event processing, and API management. We're going to start off by selecting the API hexagon, which takes us to the feature page of TIBCO's full lifecycle API management platform. From this page, you can access the control center, where you can manage all the settings and configurations of your API program, connect to the developer portal, where you engage with your developer community, connecting them to the latest APIs and documentation, Model your APIs using the simple contract first tools to create API specs, generate functioning mock applications for testing, and even bring your own Node.js API implementations and host them on TIBCO Cloud. During this two part demo, we'll condense the full API management lifecycle into three steps create, manage, and analyze. In part one, we will cover create, which will focus on how to create, integrate, and productize your APIs. In part two, we'll look at Manage, that covers securing and managing your API usage, creating interactive documentation, and administering your developer portal. And finally, we'll cover Analyze, where we'll demonstrate the custom dashboards and how to monitor the key business indicators of your API management program. For part one of the demo, we're going to focus on how to create, productize, and integrate your APIs. It's very easy to model your REST API or simply import your existing API definitions and then create a mock API for testing purposes. The API Modeler is a user-friendly but powerful tool that allows you to visually define and manage a REST API. To get started, you can click on Create and enter the API definition manually. Or you have the option to import a REST API specification. We will import an example. To import an existing API spec, it either has to be in YAML or JSON format. You can now open the imported API spec to review or make edits. Once you're happy with your spec, you can create your mock. You have two options, create a basic mock or create a Node.js mock app that can be customized. We're going to create a basic mock. Click Create Mock App, give it or accept the name. This will create and then launch the mock app. This can be tested directly via view and test. We're going to use this mock app to show how to secure and manage your app with TIBCO API management. To add your app to TIBCO Service Mesh, you just set the endpoints to private and it's now discoverable anywhere on TIBCO Cloud. The TIBCO Cloud Mesh is a registry of services across your ecosystem that is available to be discovered and consumed by client apps like API management, integration and events. You can now use API management to publish it to your developer community. To see how this is done, let's navigate to the control center. Select API definitions, select new API definition, import from TIBCO Cloud Mesh. Select the service. Set the endpoint, click continue. Once you've completed selecting the service, you'll get a preview of the API definition and the endpoint that will be created as part of the service. Now that you've imported your API service from TIBCO Cloud Mesh, published the API definition and its endpoints, you can include it in a package and plan. Manage your documentation or simply view your API. It's probably as good a time as any to define what we mean by packages and plans before we go any further. A package is a grouping of APIs as a product presented by a company or organization. The package also defines how developers and administrators are alerted to key events about this API product. A plan is a tier or level of access to the APIs in an API product or package. Inside each package, there are one or more plans that contain the APIs for the product. The plan exposes things like which endpoints and optionally methods can be accessed, the default throttle rate, quota period, and quota amount, where the members can self-provision keys directly through the developer portal. We're going to go ahead and add this API to an existing package and plan to create a new API product. 
It's that easy. The API is now added to a package and plan and is available for people to interact with and discover it. All that is left is for the developer to create an app and request an API key in order to make a call against your API product. Let's look at some of the management pages in the control center. From here, you can manage your APIs, the packages and plans that can be consumed and used by external developers, as well as portal management, API reporting, and environmental configuration. In the API definition, you can manage each of the endpoints, enable security, and configure access rights. For each endpoint, you can manage the URL, add methods, specify transformations, and other detailed settings. In the Package Manager, we can manage and add plans and configure package level settings. In the plan, we manage the APIs and the endpoints that are included in the plan and the access that the plan gives to them. For example, setting rate limits and quotas. Thank you for watching. In part two, we will look at Manage, covering securing and managing your API usage, creating interactive documentation and administering your developer, as well as we'll cover Analyze, where we will demonstrate custom dashboards and how to monitor the key business indicators of your API management program.